All right, so when I was recording this, OBS decided it was going to uh, shit its pants on me and fuck up my input audio really badly. So my voice is going to sound a little bit weird. Uh, I do apologize, but the video itself came out really good and it took us like over an hour to shoot it. So I wasn't down for redoing it, but I just apologize in advance if the audio sounds a bit funny. Welcome everybody to the MXM character rating extravaganza. I'm here with my good friends, Leo. Hello, hello everybody. And Josh, who's Vexus Zeldok. Hello. These two goons have never played MXM. Josh has heard of it through me. Leo has never heard of the game ever. At all. So many great, amazing things I've heard about this game. The noobs here are basically, I'm going to be showing them a picture and they have to guess the name of what I'm showing them and then I'm going to give them a brief little description and they are going to tell me if they would main this character. Without further ado, let's jump right into it with the MXM character rating extravaganza. That was your big plan? So firstly, we have this lady. Gentlemen, uh, yes. guesses? White woman. Uh, White woman. I'd name her, you know, Jennifer. Her name was Lua. She was kind of the basic starting soldier character. She was a mid to close range assault type with decent damage and mobility, and she could use her ultimate without spending resource. Her ultimate, of course, was a giant cone of fire that knocked up and damaged all enemies. So does this sound like someone that either of you would be interested in if you just saw this you know, in the game? Definitely pulling a, a you know soldier seventy six you know move here. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. It's just regular uh, you know white woman. Regular you know, white woman. All right. What about you, Leo? Would you play this character? You know, I probably would. But, you know, probably not because of her abilities, but, you know, I probably would just see her and be like, you know, what, let me go ahead and try this character. All right, seems, oh, seems reasonable. Hey, she was yo. she was definitely one of the most popular characters in the game. I'll cut you up. We got this lady. Yes, this gentleman. Samus? Yeah, you know. Sa I, you're I, you're I, Samus. I don't know. Like, Rebecca. Rebecca? All right, well, her name was Suzuka. Oh, name and this is, this is Assassin Lady, IDK, Big Booty. Um... Yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, massive burst damage and could go stealth. You can also stack loads of bleed, and she could get. She had multiple ways of getting iframes as well. And her ultimate made her invincible for a second, as she does a metric fuck ton of damage to a single target by basically just like flashing them up a billion times. You know, definitely okay. seems like a damage dealer. I uh, probably. For sure. Would not, would not main them. Would they not main skill. them. They seem very skill oriented, you know. Well, she was technically one of the starter characters, but uh, definitely had a very high skill ceiling. No, I'm just gonna have to act up again, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't no. scare you. Oh my gosh, Leo, oh, Leo, the classic yeah. combo. Use, Leo would use this character, but not. You know, I probably use her and. Luo, is that what was that? Yep. I'd probably use her as the two characters, honestly. Not unlike half of the player base in this game. Did someone say push up contest? All right, next up, we got this dude. Guesses oh, for this dude. Go. Oh, yeah. Um, that that's just that's just that's just young swain young swain <laughs> i see it i see it i'd name him like i'd name him like uh, uh shane yeah just shane? shane yeah his name's actually, actually also Darius. Tajin. Actually, right? oh. now tajin is a buff gun guy he's kind of a dumbass mid-ranged high mobility dps his basic attack is it's hard to aim if you're bad but does a lot of damage if you're good and has a lot of various explosive skills and a singular knockback ability is actually really good and his ultimate was a super high damage airstrike in a designated area. Okay. I mean, Not you know, I, I would maybe play them more likely than the other two characters we've seen. But still, I don't know. I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the vibe. You're not yet. getting the vibe. Well, uh, don't worry, Josh. You'll, you'll get the vibe. I, I promise. We're just, this, we're just scraping the surface here. What, what about we're you, Leo? Scraping the surface. These are the more normal characters. Uh, I, you know, I'd see them in the menu. And I'm not gonna lie. I want to. I don't even think I noticed them. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Wow. Poor Tajin. I don't even think I noticed them. Poor Tajin. I wish to see you electrified. Next up, we got this guy. What's going on with this guy? Ah, uh, like, is this like? Blue Silver Surfer? I don't, like, nah, it, it, oh god, like, yeah, yeah, he's, I don't know, he looks kind of wacky. I don't uh, know, he does, he does look cool though. Yeah, he probably has some name like Atlas or something, but it's spelt weirdly. Actually, you're, I guess you're kind of close. His name is Demonos. Mmm, okay. All right, and so he was Lightning Boy. He was a support with an AOE stun in silence. That's that's oh. about it. That's about what he did. Oh, And okay. then his ultimate created a lightning wall area that slowed enemies and blocked projectiles. Lightning support guy. pretty cool. 
Let's see. He's a support character. Um. Yeah, mostly crowd control mm, support character. Yeah, I know. He he seems kind of like he could he Seraph could heal people. Way. He could heal people, but it wasn't like a lot. Man, I do. I don't know. I think his design is a little cool. I'm, I'm, maybe they have some cool skin, but I, I don't think I'm gonna main them. I don't think I'm gonna main them. No, Leo, would you? No, I'm not gonna lie. I would probably use this character. Oh, I just, like I just like his concept. I Leo. like the lightning going on here. Like oh. I really like this character. Okay. Actually. Okay, okay, interesting. Leo Demino's guy. New Robo! This dude. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is, we're getting into it now. Mm. Why does oh, this God. look like Baymax, but yeah, he's white is, and he's in a is, suit or something? I don't know if you all remember, but like, this is basically the engineer from TF2 had a baby with the weird <laughs> mole guy from Atlantis. If you all know, like, the old <laughs> movie. It's basically this man. That's this weird. man probably has some, I don't know, he's probably some weird, like, German name or something like Heim Middledorf. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably like name him Thomas. Thomas? Okay. Well his name his name was Moro. His name was Moro. And okay. it was Roundo Robo Boy. Uh, he placed these little robot turrets with various effects that could either shut they could do things like shut down enemy basic attacks, deal heavy damage to stationary targets as two of his more notable ones, but he also had a couple others. And his ultimate activated all of his robot effects at once, centralized on him, and then it made him a walking god and then also fired a giant fuck off laser. Oh yeah, I'd probably oh. man this guy. <laughs> Josh could be a Moro main. The legendary, the new, mm -hmm. the new, the new Moro main. Yeah, this is where you tell me that he sucked. Moro, to the casual player, is horrible. But to the, the skilled competitive player, is can be unstoppable. So the, it takes the best to use him. Yes, it takes the best to use him. I don't think I would main this character, though, you know? You wouldn't want to be the best around? Uh, I'd probably see him and I'd be like, well, I'll have to pass. Most people did. Anyway, but next we got this guy. This robot looking oh, nice. oh, wow. Yeah, we have to probably name him something. Something that never been done before, like Bastion. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know what to name him. Like, Killer Toaster? Killer Toaster? <laughs> no, you're kind of close, actually. But his name is NBA07. NBA? Oh, NBA. Yeah, yeah NBA. <laughs> so he's, he's, actually, he's actually an artillery battery converted from a juice machine. He had a massive long-range damage with a minimum range on most of his attacks, including his basic attack. But he was very squishy, but did have a couple, like, um, good escape skills, including one of the best survival skills in the game and his ultimate made him transform into a cannon that fired like these giant nukes like basically across the map yeah definitely not the kind of character that i normally play but you know yeah. i'd probably make him i'd make him I, you know I'd, i probably actually would use this character i like, yeah, right, like long range him as an option you know i'm a fan of long range damage not kind of nba yeah. all-stars disappointing next up we got we got hurt great awesome i'm glad we're going back to just regular women now we're going back to regular women there's a couple a couple regular women in here so what's the difference oh, between, are you, sure you're, are you sure you're not showing me a skin? Well, the first? No, well, you can't see it, I guess, because the splash art doesn't show it, but she is holding a giant sniper rifle. I'd, I'd name her, like, uh, Brittany from Brittany? Sword o Online. Okay. Like, something, something like like Bridget. All right, her name's actually Inowen. Uh She was oh, the God. schizo sniper who was addicted to crack. Uh, she was a sniper with high damage and long-range projectiles that can be charged up to pierce through enemies, but she had pretty low mobility and health. And her ultimate makes her stationary and invisible and puts a little reticle on the ground. If you hit an enemy with the reticle, it just does a bunch of damage. So she's like kind of like a glass cannon. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have to like look at this objectively and like not act up. I, you know, I think I'll have to pass on this character. You're going to pass? Like, I, 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 I I'll, wouldn't, I wouldn't probably, I'll probably pass. I'm not really a sniper. Person. All right. All right. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Next up. Main. Main? <laughs> Already main? <laughs> the rock? Uh, not yeah. gonna lie, he looks like a Garuda or something from Legend of Zelda or something. I don't know. He's a um, rock. He, yeah, he probably has like anime edits play when he walks <laughs> in the room. He has a funk know. edit play when he walks in. And man's just named like Yujiro. Probably name him like uh, Ben. Ben. Uh, his name was actually ben. Kum. Kum. Yep. Hi, Kum. Kum. Yeah. Hey, he was, uh, he, was, he was Big Rock Man. Big Rock Man. Super defensive tank. He has shields and can put up a wall that blocks everyone, including allies. And his ultimate made him unable to die for a bit and then healed him. All right, so Josh- probably, I've probably made this guy. Yeah, yeah I definitely yeah. Josh, Josh got the insta main on Coom. But you, Leo? I probably have to. I, like, I don't think I'd use this character, you to be honest with you. 
right. But even though he sounds really cool, bro. Is that your best expression? Oh, this is like right. instant use. I don't even care. Instant use? I don't even use. Leo. Leo. Oh my gosh. Leo. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name her, I think, like, she reminds me of, like, Yennefer from, like, The Witcher 3. Yennefer. I'm gonna name her Yennefer. Okay. I'm like Cassie. See, right, her, name, her name is Lorraine. She was a she French photographer Lorraine. lady. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a giant camera she's holding. Yeah, to expose Leo when they walk into the room. She has ludicrous mobility and attack speed with an undodgeable AoE basic attack that goes through walls and annoying as shit crowd control skills. And her ultimate created a box that sucked enemies toward the middle and then exploded. So does this yeah. sound like someone you would play? Not, not, not someone I would play. Not probably. someone you would play. Not Leo, Leo, Leo got that insta, insta lock yeah. on the uh, range. Josh, he never failed to disappoint me, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Great. Listen, Rob, I gotta think objectively here. I gotta think with my my mind and, and not with anything else, Leo. Unfortunately, Lorraine is my least favorite character ever. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's, you know, that's but, great. You know, Leo is going to be the about our opinion. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, this, is about, this is about Leo's opinion, actually. Piece of cake. Here we got our next guy, man. Our next boy right here. Oh, damn. Why did you pull up a Valorant character? I don't know. He looks like he'd kind of be like a jerk, like a douchebag or something. I, yeah. I don't know. I, honestly, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. He's definitely just that guy from Valorant. That guy. Yeah, from I'm not even going to name him. I'm not even going to name him. Just that's his name. That guy you from have, Valorant. Do you have a name for him, Leo? I'd probably name Name this guy like uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, his name. His name was Vonak. I may have misspelled that. Uh, he was a pimp with two guns. Massive mid-range DPS with stacking buffs. This his skills would actually change the pattern of his basic attack until a new skill changed it back, and so he could do four different versions of that. And then his ultimate made him go up in the air, going invulnerable and dealing a lot of damage in like an area, like in a cone below him. So yeah. Sounds pretty interesting. I don't think uh, I'd yeah. use. Uh, I don't think I'd use him. But you know, I, I know. I respect him. I, I picked all the other characters in Valorant. Sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Future Lego here again. Um, at this point, my audio started echoing for some reason. I do not know why, but it doesn't last very long. So just for the next couple of minutes. So once again, I apologize. I don't know what the fuck OBS was doing. Coordinates locked. Now this, this is this is a hot team. Here. This uh -oh. straight up just looks like a Xenoblade character. Like, oh I, my god! I'm looking. I'm looking at a Xenoblade blade. Like I'm looking at a blade from Xenoblade 2, actually. Wow. Oh yeah, actually, I'm just gonna name her just like I'm literally just gonna name her a blade from Xenoblade 2. Like her name is Cosmos. Well, her name's actually her name's actually Morope, Morope or Morope, however you want to pronounce it, because I swear everyone pronounced it differently. She was a robot with missiles and big kitty, high burst damage with slow projectiles. And her ultimate auto locked onto all targets in range and effectively just instantly kills them. Who knows? Maybe I'd play this character as the secondary to my MBA. Both, both very squishy, very high damage characters. So you'd have to be pretty good, but could be interesting. I'm just, I'm just built different. I actually probably would use this character. Okay. It's the robot Riz. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah, robot yeah. Riz. Just, just the... This game had hot robots. What can I say? Understandable. It was me the whole time. Oh no! Whoa! What's going on here? No, oh, this is this is What's oh, going man. on here. This is a Lego character, right? Here. Before you say anything bad, this is my favorite character in the game. Oh, yeah, so don't be oh, dissing. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this character is kind of strange for me. Strange. Uh, well, strange. But we're gonna yeah, we're gonna name them. We're gonna name them like Sonic the Hedgehog. I Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'll call them. Um, yeah, you know, I'll name them Shadow too. Her name is Paul Haran. She was the crazy girl with a minigun from Blade and Soul. She had massive sustained DPS from long range with high damage skills but limited mobility. And her ultimate made her shoot a constant volley of high damage projectiles that would replace her basic attack for a limited Oh, so, so this is this is a her. Yes. Yes, Leo. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, I we're not playing. We're not. We're not doing your video. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. I got a few questions. Why are they wearing a sweater? Leo. 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 Is this a man? I need this to know. This is definitely a man. I, is this a man? I think this is a trap. No. Yeah, but that still doesn't change the fact. Like I wouldn't use this. Yeah. Game. You know. I, I, wow. At first, I was like, "Yo, this is a child," but then I was like, "Ah, oh, maybe they're like 80 years old because they're balding for some reason." Like, why? Why, why did they? Why, what's up with that. Yeah, another balding right there. Yeah, it is very strange. Yeah, this, this is kind of 
sus. If there's one thing I do like, it's, you know, it is her, like, gauntlets thing going on. That does look pretty nice. I mean, the minigun, but... I like the minigun aesthetic. So, you know, maybe I'd play them every once in a while. But, you know, uh, uh, you know, they're not, like, the character I'd, be, I'd go to. My heart is breaking right now, guys. I know, I know. I like miniguns, but just the person carrying it is just kind of sus. Uh, you be dashed against Karith's fist! Big guy, guy, big boy. Big blue boy. Um, Step like Gordo or something. Gordo? Yeah, I'm gonna name him like uh, King DDD. King DDD? Yeah, yeah. Right. His, name, his name was Cagnazzo. He was a big blue triceratops looking head ass alien smurf motherfucker. He was a tank with a giant flail and lots of crowd control, best used aggressively. So he was like an offensive tank, basically. And his ultimate turned him black and gave him super armor and a lot more damage. You know, two be honest i would probably main this character this is probably the character i've enjoyed the most so far all right i like the i like the tank kind of uh flail aspect yes. just to see the skins but you know he had time. some cool skins actually not gonna lie all right so josh is a main what about you leo like i gotta say like design wise looks really cool but like i don't think i'm necessarily i don't think i'd like necessarily like main like a tank focused character Okay, understand. I'm a, I'm a tank, I'm probably I'm a tank player. I'm a tank I, player, so. Press F. Here we got this. Girl just kind of reminds me of like, um, I'm just going to call her Yuffie. She Yuffie? Reminds me of Yuffie. She reminds me of Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII. So right. I'm going to name her Yuffie. Bro, I, I, I don't know what the naming conventions in like Nepal are, but like, <laughs> it's something from there, I think. Right. I don't know. All right, well, this is Lilo. Uh, yeah, white definitely. girl. Yeah, she, she's a rest, white girl just as like an Indian, I don't know, chief. I don't know what's up with that. She was a ranged support with a lot of evasion and mobility and pretty decent DPS. And she had a skill that could pick up people and put them somewhere else, including including allies, so that was interesting. But her ultimate marked an enemy and made them take damage in an area around them for a set period of time. I don't know, I don't know if I noted this, but she has a bird. All of her skills are based on her bird. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I feel like I'm, I'm committing some sort of hate crime <sighs> by, by interacting with this character. Oh my gosh. I probably wouldn't yeah, use pass, this character either. Pass. pass on me. Okay. Balls. Here, here, here we got an interesting. I'm excited for this one. All right, we got a baseball. Yeah, this is um baseball player right here. Big Big Johnny or something. Big Johnny. Yeah, I'd probably have to go with the name like uh, Johnster or something. <laughs> Johnster. Ace. <laughs> my name's Ace. Oh my gosh. Uh, his name was Sonid. And yeah, he was a baseball man. He was a long range sniper who deals massive damage on single shots, but also has a fair bit of survivability and iframes in his kit. In his ultimate, he hits people with his bat and just knocks everyone away into the air, including allies. The more I look at this character, the more, I mean like, you know what? I might play them every once in a while, I'm not gonna lie. I just kind of like the bat using, you know? I don't yeah. know. I'd, I'd, yeah. have to see the, I'd really have to see some play of them. Just to know right. what they look like. One must practice. Huh. Her name's easier to guess than you might imagine, I'll tell you that. I don't know, it definitely seems like Valkyrie. Valkyrie? Um, I'm gonna name her probably Tatiana or something, I don't know. You guys are thinking way too hard. Yeah. Her, name, her name is Beamerang. Boomerang. Okay, that's oh, actually okay. pretty If you if you name. can't guess, everything about her is boomerang is B, thing. B related? It's oh, boomerang, yeah, boomerang related. Yeah, she's a busty boomerang lady. High damage with basically no cooldowns and the best reflect mechanic in the game. Everything is boomerang themed. And her ultimate is this big like tornado that knocks up everything it hits. Yeah, you know, I'd probably use this character actually. Ah, I think it's interesting for me, but you know, it's very interesting sounding. Okay. It does. I like the. It, you know, all it takes is a good skin to make me want to play some of these characters. So I'd have to see, you know. All right. Their result for me. Vita has taught me how to dance. Wait, it's it's just red hair, uh, <laughs> other girl. Yeah, this there is you just go. like another. No, this 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 is this is an entirely female. new character. God, what was the other character's name? Marope. Marope. This one's Europa or something. Um, I'd probably have to name her like Fiona. All right. Well, her name's actually Maya. She's the second robot with big titty. High health pool defensive juggernaut with a lot of utility skills. And her ultimate basically just teleports her to the weakest ally wherever they were on the map. So she was like yeah. a tank, support tank. I actually play this character, depending, I guess, on what the other person uh, I'm using. It. Yeah. I probably would like would not use this character, but uh, I respect the the kid. Meow, 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 meow. Here we have this guy. God, I'm trying to get a bearing on this. Are they small or big? Hold small. On. It's hard to read. It's hard to read. Uh, I, I can't tell. Part of it makes it look like they have massive shoulders. But uh, No, no, that's his, that's his hand in the air. 
closet. Oh, okay. This is probably something weird like Bimu or something. Bimu? Actually, no, I'm gonna tell you this is incredibly easy. Yeah, I'll name him Garfield. Garfield? Okay, his name is Garfield. Cat the Cat. Cat. <laughs> I'm not, that's his name. He's a floofy okay. Neko. But he's actually a tank with insane crowd control spamming and invulnerability. Skills gave him a new limited time basic attack and was one of the most annoying and hard to kill characters in the entire game. And his ultimate launches him to either an ally or an enemy, cleansing debuffs or stripping buffs respectively, and you can use it twice in a row. Yeah, so I this is with this guy. <laughs> All right. So this is your crowd control spam tank. I, I probably I probably wouldn't use him. Okay, I'm past the Leo. You gotta, gotta have a, you know, high tier character that you use. Like, it's like you just carry the team with, you know? Here's an interesting one. Oh, he's black! <laughs> Okay. Their name is Leo, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know, we're gonna name him Leo as well. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Why was that your first reaction, Leo? <laughs> Men out here looking for support. He's out here in a lie, seat like, full of other people. Yeah, I am trying to find my own people, but like this character actually looks like sick. Like, I'm gonna have to give it an instant. He looks use. like no matter, a... no matter if he's low tier, like I might have to give him an instant. He does look like a boondocks character. Yeah, he doesn't look like any boondocks character. Well, good good news, Leo. He's not low tier, he's actually pretty high tier but his name is Pankuga. He is the uh, black cyborg boxer. He has burst damage with CC and a lot of recast combos and dodge mechanics. And then his ultimate was a rocket punch that it, well, does what you expect. Honestly, are you able to pick similar characters that your team picks? You, you can have two of the same character on the same team. Yeah, me and Leo would probably rock this guy together. <laughs> All right, understandable. I think, I think we'd rock yeah, him yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. Duo. He, he, I just like a quick question. Like, do these characters have like lore to them? They do, but a lot of it is really ridiculous listen bad all you need to know is this is a cyborg boxer all right all right <sighs> round two this is like a, this is like a that, that superior is, being yeah, this, this is, is like a yeah god this is, i would yeah i'd name them like josh or something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like holy moly I name him, i'm just gonna name him like chrono chrono, chrono. yeah chrono actually so okay probably good, I, thing. his name's actually too long Oh, okay. My bad. I, I uh, forget who made this game. This is this is small rock man. He's the same race as Coon, who is just big rock man. This guy's small. But... Yeah, well, he's smaller than Coon. He has insane burst damage and the most disgusting crowd control known to mankind. And his ultimate knocks up everyone in a circle around him and does like 1,500 damage for no reason. It was a little bit. It was really nasty. Dang. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you go first. What do you think? Um, like I, I probably wouldn't use this character. <laughs> fan of the uh, I rock. Might, uh, I might, I might use this character with um. I'd probably play this character. But I'd probably play them with uh, the weird flail guy. You play him with okay, Kagnazo? Yeah. Okay, Kagnazo Tulum. That sounds terrifying. All right. Yay! I unexploded. Yep. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Guesses, thoughts. Just, like I don't know what Poom Poom or something. Uh, I'd probably name her like Little Red Riding Hood. There's actually a Rami, the small child. Summoner with trap-like skills that are set and recast to activate. High CC, high mobility, and pretty decent damage to top it off. And her ultimate summoned a Golem that would knock up enemies wherever it was summoned, and then it would float around and attack them. Oh wow, what a cool character. So, next one. Let's move I'll on probably have oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Let's move on to the next one. What a, what a, what a wow. cool character. I don't like I don't like uh, maybe I'd main maybe I'd main the golem for the summon. <laughs> for the know, record, I mean she's technically an alien. I, well, but... don't, don't speak. Just let it sit. We'll let it okay. sit. Yeah. We'll let it go. Okay. Oh. Alright, that's the end of part one. Part two will be coming soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. There's another quality content that I may or may not upload if I you know get I feel like doing it. I don't know how to end a video.